Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans, I'm rounding off my look at the Wave 4 3.75 inch scale figures with this, which is the Cyberman with arm gun, and here it is in its box. No surprises with the packaging, it all looks the same with a similar layout to the other figures, so there's not really much point in going into too much detail here. So enough about the box, let's move on to the figure. Alrighty, so here we have the... Okay, so here we have the Cyberman. And just like the Wave 1 version, the detail on here is great. In fact, it's one of characters better 3 and 3 quarter scale figures. The head sculpt is new this time around. It's much more elongated than the Wave 1 version. And that's all the better for it, while retaining much sharper and less obvious lines of detailing sculpted into it. There is a little bit of paint bleed on the eyes and mouth, but they look much sharper now too. The handles on the top of the head are present and correct, as are those slots of armour at the back of the head. The torso contains a great amount of detail. I'm highly impressed with all these layered sections of armour protruding out from the figure. It's very concise and clear and really looks well, especially in this smaller scale. That cross design on the middle of the chest sits out and looks fantastic with the circular shutter in the middle, which has just been painted blue this time around to indicate that it's open, yet the sculpt clearly shows that it's closed. These slots on the side almost give the impression of a rib cage like design, while on the abdominal wall these overlapping panels of armour have been added to look as though it's flexible and can bend forward and back. On the arms you can spot these shoulder guards, more great detailing of armour plating, while on his right forearm you can spot the new addition, the gun, which has been sculpted very nicely indeed, with the barrel poking out at the front. The hands have been given a very precise and meticulous sculpt, so they include some very nice fingers and thumbs with what seems to be pistons on the backs of the hands. On the back there seems to be two large shoulder blades on either side of what looks to be a spine-like design running up the middle. The legs are a little more elongated this time around too, but still offer that great armour panel design on the front, what looks like collapsible sections on the backs of the knees, while the feet are covered with three separate pieces of metallic plating. Finally, the underside offers two peg holes and some wonderful legal yes block matter. So, overall for detail, it's excellent and certainly one of the characters best from the 3.75 inch line. Turning to articulation that... Oh, for the love of... Turning to articulation, the head can do the full 360 degree exorcist style twist, and as it's on a ball joint it can pivot from side to side and not up and down by a small amount. The head can also be detached should you want to give your 11th Doctor a little handles accessory. The arms can do a full 360 at the top of the shoulder, but can only move out to 45 degrees due to the sculpting on the top of the arm. The arm can bend in to 45 degrees at the elbow, but can also swivel through a 360 here as well, which I really like as it allows the Cyberman to be posed while properly firing his arm mounted gun. Despite an obvious and natural place to include it, there is no ab crunch or waist articulation. The legs can't really kick forward or move back, but can move out to the sides. They can also pivot in and out as well, and there's a 90 degree bend on the knee. So for articulation, it's fur to medium. Doing a size comparison, you can see the new version is a little bit bigger than its Wave 1 counterpart due to the new head and leg sculpts, but it's not too big so as to be out of scale with the other 3.75 inch figures. So overall, what do I think of this... Oh, really? Come on, this isn't funny anymore! Oh, so, what do I think of this figure? Well, I like it. As I said, it's certainly one of characters' best figures since they made the switch to the smaller scale. The detail is crisp and precise, while the paint apps look very glossy and metallic. The articulation could be a little bit better, but for what it offers, it is pretty decent. I do appreciate the changes that have been made this time around. The head sculpt doesn't look as squished as it did before, while the longer legs make it stand much more naturally than the almost stunted look of the Wave 1 version. But the biggest change is by far the best. I really love the blue open chest shutter, while the arm-mounted gun makes the figure look much more menacing and cool. As with the other figures in this wave, it's really missing an accessory, particularly the DW insignia base. It does make me wonder though, at what point will Tony Stark be wearing this armour in Age of Ultron as it hasn't been seen in any of the trailers so far? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos. Keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. And please support me on Patreon via the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.